Hello, and welcome to this video presentation, in which we will explain how to work with labels in Apex SQL Source Control. Labels are a source control feature supported by Git, Mercurial, Perforce, Subversion, and Team Foundation Server, which represent a snapshot of the current state of all objects in Source Control Repository. In our example, we have the AW1 database linked to the Subversion Source Control System using the dedicated development model. But an initial commit was not performed yet. Let's try to create a label for this database. Right-click on the linked database and from the Object Explorer pane context menu, click the Create Label command. The There are no commits on the repository, label cannot be applied, information message will appear. Since we did not perform an initial commit, the repository is still empty. And because of that, we cannot create a label. Before anything else, select All Objects in the Action Center tab and click the Apply button. Now when we click on the Create Label command in the Object Explorer pane context menu, the New Label window will open. The only required information is a label name. If you do not enter any value in this field and click the Create button, the Name field cannot be empty. Information message will appear. Enter any name for your label. We will enter Label 1 since this is the first label we are creating. But even though the comment field can be left empty, we will enter a description, so later it can be easier to know what exactly the label is referring to. So in the comment field, we will enter Initial Commit. After you enter all necessary information, click the Create button. When Apex SQL Source Control creates your label, the Label Label 1 Successfully Created message will appear. Once the label is created, it is stored in the Source Control repository. You can access this label at any time. Let's see how this works on the following example. We have linked AW1 database and created a label after the initial commit was performed. If you want to check all created labels for a linked database, right-click on the database in the Object Explorer pane and from the Context menu, click the Show Labels command. This action will open the Labels window. In this window, you can find all information about all previously created labels, including label name, label version, created date, the user that created the label, label comment, the database for which the label was created. Since there are no differences between the created label and the database, when we click on the Get button, the Action Center tab will refresh and show there are no differences between the label and the database. Let's add another column to the table, Table 1. After the Action Center tab is refreshed, this table will be present on the list of differences between the database and source control. To apply a label to a database, right-click on the database in the Object Explorer pane and from the Context menu, click Show Labels command. When open, in the Labels window, choose a label. In our case, there is only one, and click the Get button. This action will open the Get Changes from the Repository window. In this window, there are three tabs, including the Sequence tab, which contains the list of actions which will be performed, the Script tab, which contains script which will be executed, and finally, the Warnings tab, which contains warnings if this action is performed. Click the Apply button if you want to apply the selected label to the database. When the action is completed, the Action Center tab will refresh and there will no longer be any differences between the database and source control, and the added column will no longer be visible. By applying a label, we restored the previous state of the selected database. One more thing you need to know when working with labels is that when you create a label for a linked database, it is stored in the repository and it can be accessed by all developers. This means if you have several databases linked to the same repository, the created labels will be available for any of the linked databases. To show how this works, we will link another database to the same repository. We will link the AW2 database, identical to the AW1 database, in the same development model and to the same repository. 
Since we chose an identical database, when linking is complete and the Action Center tab is refreshed, there will not be any differences between the database and source control. Right-click in the Object Explorer pane on the already linked database. In our case, it is AW2 database. In the context menu, click the Show Labels command. As you can see, the label which we created for the AW1 database is available for the AW2 database as well. The labels are snapshots of the source control repository, and they do not depend on linked databases. Add another column to the table, Table 1 of the AW2 database. Apply the change to the source control repository. Create a new label of the current source control repository state, Label 2. This label will be available to any of the linked databases to this repository. In our case, the AW1 database. There is no limitation on the number of labels you can create. But to delete a label, you must have access to the repository with proper rights, since you cannot delete a label through Apex SQL Source Control. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.